I am going to be sharing a summary of my journey of becoming friend of self. Once I stepped out of the existence in the eyes of others' perception, I began my journey of becoming a friend of self. A true friend has been defined on one occasion as one who genuinely cares about your overall well-being. They offer support when needed and are foundationally grounded in trust. Further, they improve your quality of life. They help to promote your self-confidence with honesty and unconditional love. They are non-judgmental, yet they will help you progress mentally. Equally as important, they got your back. With this knowledge, I decided to change my own narrative by unclothing the many layers of identity given to me by those who loved me in the village where I was born. By removing the people, places, things, and thoughts that no longer served me, I committed to developing a friend with self. My journey began with allowing self to become a priority, ensuring that the needs and wants were healthy and balanced. I took time to be with self. Practicing self-care and wellness was a time of discovery and learning about self. It was here that I found it is critical to recognize, set, and keep boundaries. Most pivotal in this journey was the restoration of my personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Fellowshipping with other Christ followers in and outside of a chosen church, along with studying the word of God, gave friendship a much deeper meaning. I practiced gratitude, and forgiveness of self and others. I became an active listener of self, removing thoughts and actions of denial. I began to speak and accept the truths about self. These truths turned into believing in self and what blossomed was a new excitement regarding life, one filled with courage and hope. Courage and hope allowed for intentionality building healthy relationships outside of self, while sharing and exploring new levels of friendships. This also resulted in a lesson for others on how to respond to the identity of friend of self. These few challenging milestones in becoming a friend of self have become a lifestyle for me. Not only have I come to know, listen to, and care for self, but what is manifested has allowed me to continue to show up, be there as a friend to self. And what I have found to be most key is a friend of self attracts unity and connection, reflects love, and brings about healing. When you become a friend to self, you can become a friend to others.